Hey everybody, this is Kevin with Team Element. Um, bringing you a deck profile today that I used in our local event today. Um, it came in second place. Uh, of course, we we did a live stream. Me and Greg Bullock did a live stream yesterday, and uh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying that video of my Harutagarn build that I've been kind of messing with. I, uh, obviously, I didn't I didn't get the idea myself, but I have made some changes to it to fit my play style. Um, so I'm about to go over the list with you right now. Harutagarn. First on the list, we have three Kava. Um, <clears throat> not really sure how that's going to pan out from now on. Um, I may drop it to two. I'm not really sure. It was it was useful for Awakening. Um, I did like it against um, Announcer. Uh, it's definitely something you want to do if you're running Kava. You want to come at them with these. Uh, you want to get their life down to four as quick as you can. Uh, for the strategy later on, of course, everyone knows the Trump Zeno combo. Um, but you want their life to be at four or lower before you do it. And those definitely help get you there. Uh, also, we have to help awaken the uh, intensifying power trunks. I run four of those. Uh, a must have in the deck, you got to run four, no other number. Um, they allow the chain tack trunks to evolve for two. Um, it's definitely a must have. You got to have it. <clears throat> I run three copies of Burst Attack Sun Gohan. Uh, probably would like four. Three was definitely, I saw it plenty today. Three was enough. Um, but as far as when I get to the cards I didn't like, it probably will be a fourth one of them. Um, but I'm not, sh I'm not sure yet. I'm still, still tinkering with this. Brand new meta. Not really sure what works and what doesn't. But um, I love the card. Obviously, everyone knows it draws two if you got four cards in hand. Great card. Great card. Obviously, great card. Uh, I'm going to say definitely won me many games today for seeing hit. Uh, so the, the style, the play style of the deck, um, from what I've I've gathered, is you go as as crazy as you can with the the one drop cabas and the one drop trunks without tapping yourself down the first four turns. Uh, you Zeno chain attack trunks and Zeno on the fourth turn or fifth turn, and then you basically you your next card you play is going to be a hit. And when you swing with the Awakened Leader, that gets rid of another card. So you have five, they've got three. And maybe two, depending on how, you, how it played out. <clears throat> um, something that I did today, a couple people were saying I should try out, so I did. Um, Craig Bullock was one of those that said I should try it out. <clears throat> three copies of Digging Deep Vegeta. Um... Next week, I'm probably going to run Pan as the leader. And I think I will like this card a lot more than what I did today. Uh, it did help me awaken in one game all day. It actually was a good play. Uh, other than that, <clears throat> there's always something better to do. So I'm probably going to be running Pan next week. I'll keep it in as a uh, maybe a three of, two of, whatever. We'll see. <clears throat> Another personal tech that I was noticing people, other people were liking, and I tried it. Uh, Hidden Power East Supreme Kai. It's a new card out of the uh, World Tournament pack that just came out. Uh, it's basically uh, Furthering Destruction Champa, except for instead of three minutes, two. <clears throat> So in a pinch, you can play it and swing. It's just another attack if you have to. Otherwise, you tap one mana, you combo with it, and it gives something double strike. Good targets for it are the intensifying power trunks with the crit, burst attack with the with the crit, and then if you're trying to go for game, just throw it on your leader or your last attack, and they don't see it coming. It's just a way to steal a game away. As far as a uh, pseudo, obviously everybody runs this card. <clears throat> pseudo super combo. You, you kind of got to run it. It's red. 
You don't have to tap red for it, obviously, but it can be man if you need it to be. Last lineup for the red cards. Like I, I said earlier, chain attack trunks. I run four of it. Main win con of the deck. In fact, the, the games that I didn't use it, I lost. So you almost have to. Moving on to the blue combos. The blue cards. Um, the deck is chain attack trunks into Zeno. I ran four copies of Zeno. And it absolutely screwed me over. Beyond belief. If you go back and you look on our page, our team element page, um, you will find the stream where me and Trey Faircloth played. And he'll even, if, if you want to, Trey, you can comment on this. He'll even agree that in that match, this card is what screwed both of us. Game two, he drew like three of them at one time. Couldn't do nothing. I zenoed him. He drew again. Got two of them. Couldn't do nothing. He, zen he zenoed me back. I think I drew two of them. I couldn't do anything. I managed to get game two. Uh, game three, I drew three of them. And I couldn't, I couldn't out combo him. So, I'm probably going to cut it to three. I think four is way too many. My special number four at last format was two. I loved it at two, but this deck's got to see this card by turn four, no later than turn five. I think if I cut it to two, that's going to be an issue, so I'm going to probably keep it at three, see what happens, see if I like the number. We'll just go from there and see what happens. I run one copy of the flute. There's a bunch of one drops in the deck. That I can bounce back. I run the uh, free Hans. I can bounce them back. And I can bounce back, uh, well, once, of course, since you can only run one. You can bounce back a blocker if you're trying to go for game. Uh, if I run Pan, that's obviously going to come out. Obviously. Sensu Bean. Got to run four of them. Obviously. Everybody knows that. You have to run four Sensu Bean. Um, untaps your mana, keeps your plays going. Uh, defense wise your leader permanently gains the plus five uh, it saves you versus storm I played against blue yellow Harutagar and storm today and it was a pain in the absolute butt still but this card did save me um, I chose to only do three of the free Hans. this was a advice given to me by Greg Bullock my teammate to cut it down to three I didn't notice that it was an issue uh, at three I still saw it when I needed it it didn't get in the way which it never got in the way at four I'll just go ahead and say that but it did make room for other cards that did help me in the game um, I think three's fine if you want because the deck draws a crap ton so I think you'll see still see it I only ran three copies of unyielding and I'm glad I ran three there was a game where I thought I only had two in the deck because before the, the tournament started, I did some changing around of, of quantities, and I thought I cut it to two. And when I saw that I had charged one and one was already in the grave, I actually thought that I didn't have any more. And off of Zeno, I drew it. And it completely opened up everything for me. I was able to untap a single mana, awaken my leader, untap two more mana. Now I got three open mana. I was able to just to keep right along going. It was great. I think three is the perfect number. I wouldn't change the quantity of that. You've got to have some blue cards. Well, you know, if I switch to pan, that's got to go too. That's my, that might end up being an issue. We'll see. Um, but if you're going to run Harutagarn, you've got to have this, this card in the deck, at least at three. If you want to try it at four, you can. Um, at four, I guess you could use the fourth one as a, a pitch target for Harutagarn if you had to. But I liked it at three. Super combo, best super combo in the game. Hoy, ditch card, draw two. Gotta have it. Perfect. Uh, something I did that I didn't see anybody else doing is I main decked two Weiss Corsions. And yeah, that actually was a really good choice. Um, it was a great card versus my uh, announcer matchup. 
because they weren't expecting it in this deck for some reason I guess because no one else is doing it they're doing flame cannons and something else um the the Vegeta into the Goku combo for game where they got the two triple strikers out I was able to negate one of them and then out combo the other one so I actually do like having the negates versus the the extra combo power with um flame cannon and for the last cards, two Mass Saiyan, Mysterious Warrior. Great, obviously great against Announcer. Awesome against um, Storm. Wiping out two Gotens. That's about the best you're going to get, really, is two Gotens out of it. You might get lucky if they're just, if they're taking some one drop. But this, this really, against Announcer, wipes them out. Storm helps you get them Gotens gone. Uh, gets rid of a single problem. Like, I played it to get rid of one of the Vegetas against Announcer. Was able to, uh, so just another attacker. Double strike, 20k. Uh, that's, the, that's the main deck. Uh, real quick, I'm just going to... The side deck really didn't help. I didn't side it all today. I, actually, I did. I sided one time. I sided the, uh, the fourth copy of Zeno out. Because I was so frustrated with it. I just sided the fourth copy out. And all I put in was a Chrono, just to have a just boom draw card. Let's just keep this thing rolling. In fact, he wasn't even running the yellow deck, so it, I didn't even get the full effect. So I didn't use this side deck at all today, but at least I'll give you my reasonings behind the cards that I picked. Um, I picked Scientist Fu. If I'm going up against like blue control, most of their stuff is uh, barrier. I'm not gonna be able to do anything with Matt Saiyan, so I might as well draw two instead. 25k double strike. Uh, Frost again for those bar um, the barrier cards. They got those pesky Vegetas, Vegetos out there. And rest mode, you just swing it. Even if they negate the attack, it still kills the thing. Um, wasn't sure as far as what leaders I was going to see today. I was worried about Cell. I was worried about um, Jackie Chun. I was worried about um, some kind of freeze of some sort. So I just put these in. Uh, who doesn't like untapping things and crit? I mean, just, that's just it's just generically great against those those decks. Uh, Tuma Fubas. I wanted something for U7. Um, I was actually concerned about U7, and there was a U7 deck here tonight. I just didn't get mashed up against it. You can't negate the Victory Strike guy, but you can Mafuba him, and that was basically all it was in there for. Um, I guess it would have been good to pull in against blue control maybe. They swing with the Vegito, you can just boom. I mean, really that's all it was in there for. I didn't even I didn't even play the deck, so didn't sight it in. Um, unknown meta. Didn't know what was gonna be here tonight. So I did three Cronus. Uh, there was one no, there was two decks running Shigesh tonight. Um, and I played against None of them. I didn't, yeah, so it never came in. Um, I think this is going to be, the for as far as the meta goes, I'm wondering I'm, I'm wondering if this is going to be a new main deck card for people or if it is going to be strictly side, but I think everyone's going to main it or side it because you just don't know now. Now the SS3 is gone, the sky's the limit, any deck can pretty much work if you know how to build decks. So... Shigesh is a very sneaky thing people haven't been thinking about lately. So you might have that rogue player in your, your locals or regionals that they want to play that Shigesh deck. I'd hate for you not to have it. So I mean, that's up to you, but I wanted it. Something I, I decided to do on my own. This is another little tech of mine. Um, the deck has to, when you do it, the deck has to trunks Zena. It's got to work. There's no answer for buts about it. If for whatever reason it gets screwed with, you probably are going to lose right then and there. And so I went ahead with minus kill zone. Uh, the effect of this card is for zero mana, you can send three cards from the top from your graveyard or drop area, which doesn't matter because you've already used the cards, uh, to the warp. You get to draw a card so it replaces itself for free. And for that turn, your opponent cannot activate counter play. 
So Cold Bloodlust is out. When I play Zeno, or when I play Trunks, it's going to work. It's going to happen. And Zeno's going to come out. It's going to happen. I ha I just chose to do two of them. Again, I wasn't sure if I was even going to play against the yellow deck. And I didn't. So, dead. Alright. So that's it. Um, if you see anything you want to add to it, I would love suggestions. This is a new format. Everybody's learning stuff. I'm definitely learning stuff. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Um, hopefully I'll come in first or second again next week and it'll be with Pan. And I'll make another video for you. Thank you for watching. I'm out.